Hello, my name is Christy Crow, and this is my lovely assistant, Eleanor, my daughter. Uh, we're going to be going over subcostal imaging, subcostal imaging to start. So you'll have the patient prepped with three leads on. And the rule of thumb I use for subcostal imaging is whatever transducer you're going to use on the peristome long, you would go uh, lower in frequency for the stomach because you're trying to penetrate through more tissue. So on an, a child her age, we would use an S9 probe, but for subcostal views, I would probably go up to the X51C just to get better images. And you'll see my hand movements here. I'll also have a corresponding screen that you can watch so I can show you landmarks. You start out with a notch facing you. This is going to be a transverse view of the abdomen. So we're gonna look at the IVC and the aorta. So you would start sub -xiphoid. Put the transducer down with the notch facing you. You would have to select the correct transducer. And on the screen, here we have the liver. And I'll point that out here. This is all liver here. So this is where you're touching the patient at the top towards the spine. So anterior, posterior, left, right. So here you can see two circles by the liver. This circle here is pulsating. That's the aorta and the IVC is over here in the liver. So the first view we would take is a uh, situs view to show that she has normal situs. So here we're looking at the aorta. You can see pulsing red and the IVC in blue. So here we have demonstrated situs. She has normal situs. So once we take this image, which I'll demonstrate, now we're gonna look and we're gonna follow this IVC into the right atria. So here's the IVC and I'm gonna sweep up and it's gonna dump into the right atrium. And that just shows normal atrial situs. So here we often take sweeps in pediatrics and you can change from sweeps to beats on the touch screen here. It says loop type, it goes from beats to time. So the loop length is 15 seconds or the beats are four beats. So here when we do a sweep, we're gonna do it in time. So we're gonna look here. And here goes a, a slow sweep into the RA. There's IVC into the right atrium there. I'll do it one more time with my arrow. There's the arrow, here's IVC. Draining into the right atrium. Now we're going to flip the image and how you do that is you have this button here that says up down. So we're going to push that button. Now your image is flipped and we're going to do this so that you have an anatomically correct view of the heart. Again, we're still in the notch facing me. We're doing a transverse view. So now you can see the IVC is here in the liver. And we're going to do a slow sweep up and you'll see a four chamber view come into focus. So there's the four chamber view. So here we have right atria, left atria, intraatrial septum. We've got the AV valves here, intraventricular septum, right ventricle, left ventricle. So here's what we'll do. We'll do a sweep up to show that. And then if you keep tipping anterior, we're gonna see the great arteries arise. So here's my pointer. So I'm gonna tip up. The first branch is the aorta typically, and then the pair, uh, pulmonary artery. So here I'll show you. Coming up, this is aorta, pulmonary artery. Now we have to do this with color. So we're gonna put color over the intraatrial septum. We're looking for ASDs. So you can see draining SVC, IVC into the right atrium. And we're gonna tip up slowly to get the intraatrial septum. And then keep tipping. And then there's aorta, pulmonary artery. Sometimes in older kids, you have to reduce your uh, Doppler scale to try and get more color to fill in. 
and we'll go over some of those things as we do more teaching. So here you have to be careful because you can have the SVC drain in and you might think, oh, there's some sort of ASD. No, that's normal anatomy. Right there, SVC. Okay. Now that we've got our four chamber view, we look through the uh, intraatrial septum and we look for the, through the ventricular septum. We do sweeps through both. We're looking for shunts, any lesions. Now I'm going to turn my transducer notch down to six o'clock. And now we're gonna look for a bicable view. Here's the bicable view. The bicable view is the IVC SVC draining into the right atrium. So here's SVC, IVC, right atrium. This is the intraatrial septum. So here we take a good bicable view demonstrating correct drainage into the right atrium. And then we put a color box over the intraatrial septum. I have reduced my scale because I'm looking for low flow um, shunts and I just sweep very slowly through that intraatrial septum looking for any ASDs. Eleanor does not have any ASDs. Then I'm going to tip all the way over towards me and I'm trying to get to the tips, tip of the heart here. I know it hurts, doesn't it? So sometimes when um, people are pushing back on you, you can have them put their knees up. Go and put your knees up. And that softens the stomach. There we go, that's better. So now I'm tipped all the way towards Eleanor's left shoulder. The notch is down to six o'clock. And here we can see the left ventricle. Try to relax. Left ventricle here, the mitral valve. And then all I'm doing is sweeping slowly from left to right. So here's the tip of the heart. This is the right ventricle, the right ventricular output tract. Here's mitral valve, and we just are tipping towards her right shoulder. So here we go again. Left ventricle in the short view, mitral valve, right outflow tract. Here's aorta coming out. And then by cable view. So you'll do that with color, and you're looking again for any VSDs or any other shunting lesions. Can you relax, please? Oftentimes, kids will push back because this is not very comfortable, is it? No. 